Hello everybody. So we're going to be moving on in the Autodesk Inventor book. Uh, today we're going to be working on the shaft support on chapter 6. This one is a little bit intricate, but we'll be able to get through this very easily. You'll see that we'll be able to get this done probably in under 15 minutes. It's just a matter of understanding and knowing exactly where the dimensions are. Let's go ahead and get started. This one's actually in millimeters, so go to new, click on metric, standard, millimeters, then we'll go to part, and we're going to start on the X, Z plane. Okay, and I want to rotate this. Now you don't see it in the drawing, but if you look at the bottom part of it, it says R40, right? So you click on circle, and if it has a radius of 40, it has a diameter of 80. So there's a center circle, you can't really tell that's there. And you're easily able to get confused. But once you have that, everything else comes together. Next thing is I'm gonna add my other circle on this side. And we'll use the dimension command in a bit to put it in the right spot. This one has a radius of 22, so 44 diameter. And this other one is the same. Fix this dimension. Copy this one, and the dimension between these two is 100. And then the dimension between the center and this would be half of that, so 50. Okay, now everything's kind of where I want it. I'll zoom in a little bit, I'm going to click on here <clears throat> and we're going to draw a couple of uh, tangent lines so what I'll do is I'll go to line command and I'm going to kind of lock this on I want to make sure that I am on my circle I'm going to click on this and you'll notice that when I come to this circle here I don't want to come straight to this end that's not what I want to do if you look, there's going to be a symbol that shows up. You see that symbol there with the line in the circle? That is a tangent symbol. This means that the line is tangent. It's, it's touching it. It's touching the circle. That's what we want. So we're going to click there. And I'm going to do the same thing for this side. I'm going to click on this circle. Notice how it's wanting to lock on to the previous one. That's fine. And we want that tangent symbol to show up again. There it is. Click. And do the same thing on the bottom. Looking for that. There it is. Click. And the last one. Now let's say that you didn't get that tangent symbol perfect. You can actually make the tangent symbol after and we need to do that to connect these lines to this circle as well. So I'm going to click on this tangent symbol here. And then I'm going to click on the circle and then click on this line. I'm going to do the same thing for all of them. And it may move stuff around, but that's okay. We're going to use the dimension command to fix it. And I just want to make sure that these other ones are connected. I may get an error. So I'm going to click on this. See, I got an error, so it means that the tangent is already there. I, I'm going to check all of them just to make sure. Good. Good. Excellent. Okay, so all of them are correctly connected, but notice how it lifted this up here. I can fix that easily. Just go to, just go to dimension command. Let me click the center point. The center point of this circle. Want it to lock on. And notice how it's 1.95 millimeters away. So I'm going to click on that and put zero. And it fixed that. So we look like we're good on that. Okay, next thing is there is a 
circle hole in here. We're going to put that now. So click on that, click on the center, and the diameter of that inner circle is 15. Do the same. My dimensions look crazy. Move these around a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Our main part of it looks like it's done. We just need to trim this up so we can extrude correctly. Go to trim command. Doesn't matter where you start. You just want to trim the outline of the design that's supposed to show up. There you have it. Finish sketch. And click on home to come out a little bit. And this thickness is 18 millimeters. Enter. Now that looks good. Now in the center part, there is a rectangle that shows up, and then there's a there's a cylinder with a hole on it on top of that. There's a couple of ways to do this, but I'm gonna do this the easy way, in my opinion. I'm gonna start sketch, I'm gonna click on this face here, and I'm gonna go to my trusty two-point center rectangle. Click on the center point. Thickness is 18 millimeters, tab. And then 67 millimeters, length, tab. Sure both of those are correct. Enter. We're done. Finish sketch. Extrude. Now this extrusion is it's kind of hard to do math when you look at this whole thing. So let's just take what we know. We know that the from the bottom to the center of the circle, it's gonna be 76. And we need to subtract the thickness of that base, which is 18. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking the rectangle and we're having a dimension from the base, from this face here, to the center of that circle that we're gonna do next, okay? Click on home so you can see a little bit better. Next, click on start 2D sketch. But this time, instead of clicking on any of these faces, I wanna draw the sketch in the center plane. So I'm gonna click on origin, and I'm gonna go to the Y, Z plane. And just, just so you can see exactly what we're doing, is when I'm going to YZ plane, it's in the center part of the part. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with what I know so far. I know that the diameter of the huge circle, the outline is 46. So I'm gonna start with that. Circle command. I'm gonna work off of this point here, and I'll check the dimension in a bit. And this one is 46 diameter. And then we have an inner circle. And before I do that, I want to check my dimensions. I'm going to go to Dimension Command, click on the center part of that circle, and go to my base, make sure it's 76. It's over constrained, but I just want to be safe. Just in case I do something, I don't want that circle to move. Next, I'm going to put the other circle. And this one is a 30. Enter. Now, while we're here, I want to draw the outline of where we're going to cut on this part here. 
and it's going to come in handy a little bit later. We're going to do a, a couple of different extrusions. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the outline of where we're going to cut using the line command. So we're going to click on this line, click on this end. I want to make sure I get the green dot. That tells me it's locked on. Good. Can't really see that they're there, but you will in a moment. Make sure that you have that green dot. And if you click on finish sketch, you can actually hover over sketch and it'll show you your outline of what you just did. Next, we're going to extrude. Cut. I'm going to select the inside circle. I want to do symmetric and make sure distance is set to all. Click OK. I notice how it removed our sketch. So what you can do is you can share the sketch and reuse it multiple times. So right click on, make sure you click on the drop down of extrusion three, right click that sketch and go to share sketch. And go to extrude. I only want to select this outer circle. If you accidentally select all of it, you can use the shift command to remove and add what you don't need. This one, I want a distance of 40. And click on home so I can see what I'm doing. I want an asymmetrical. If you have problems trying to select that inner part like I am, you can just go ahead and click OK, let it extrude, and then go back and then do the extrude cut to that inside part. So I'm going to just click on extrude, select the inner circle, cut, distance, all. There, now it's, it did what it was supposed to do. I'm not too sure why, I, what I was doing wrong, but there's more than one way to do things. Now that I got this part extruded, I wanna cut this excess part, right? So I'm gonna go to extrude, cut, distance all, do it from both sides. I'm gonna select this end and this end, click okay. And there you have it. I don't want to look at the sketch anymore, so I'm going to right click on this sketch and go to visibility and then click on that to uncheck that. Now, according to this, it says that we have some fillets that are radius of three. So I'm going to go to the fillet command here, change my radius to three, and I'm going to go crazy. First, I'm going to do this bottom part. I'm going to do these edges all around. And then these sides. The order does matter, by the way, so be careful. I'm going to, I'm going to click apply on this, and then I'm going to add the fillet on the bottom. So I'm going to click apply. Now that it applied everything, I'm not going to have any interferences. Then I'm going to add this fillet here. Apply. I'm just going to take a peek at everything to make sure everything looks good. And we do. And I want to make this look a little bit better, so I'm going to change this to Iron Cast. 
think I'll go to Go to light steel blue, why not, right? Actually that that doesn't pop, so Just do iron cast. Actually, I don't like that either. That looks good to me. Okay, so now that I have my part done, click on file, save. I already have it saved, so I'm just gonna write over it, click save. And replace that. And I also want to save a PDF, so I'm going to go to File, Export, PDF, Draft Support. And you're done. I'll see you guys in the next video.